sand under the bed. finish filling in all of the sand well dirt okay all right guys so now we just finished putting on this back railing here this trim and we're getting ready to close up that side there okay so we got that front piece on and here so we bought um got some more sand over there and everything to really fill in all these gaps and holes and we're also going to fill it in with dirt so we just making sure everything stays level we have everything level on the for the rails and for the top in the back here but just for anybody that needed to see how we put it together this is how we're doing it. We're not carpenters, we're not builders. We're just going by a tutorial and kind of figuring it out on our own. Um, so you may see, you know, errors, but um, it's coming together at the, in the end though. Um, pardon the messy garden. It will be, the garden will be fixed in just a little while, but anyway, but yeah, that's, so that's, this is it so far, okay? Just to give you a good perspective of, of that. Now on to the next part. Okay, here we have the three by 25 feet um, hardware cloth and we're gonna put it on the post up here to the bottom first and then we're gonna apply wood at the top. We'll show you how we do that in a minute. This is a way for my husband came up this um, way to grab the fence and just to pull it tight. I might find it helpful. We find it that that it um, lays flatter when it is rolled in the opposite direction, not in the roll that it comes in. So you roll. They're very the tape coop update. So here we are. Um, just putting on the what do you call this stuff again? Wire meshing or something like that. The fencing around the coop. And I'm just uh, tightening up the corners here. That's the chicken coop up, but we're just going to keep working our way around.
right now, guys, we're just trying to finish up securing this to the um, frame. And then, then I believe we're going to be doing some more framing. So here we have about a 48, we have a 48 inch uh, beam and we're going to mark it every five inches and use a, we're going to use this one inch circular, what is that, a circular blade to drill the holes for the ventilation. Well, one type of ventilation. <laughs> I can't get no. Uh -huh. But we're drilling the holes for the ventilation and I just wanted to show you guys how we were doing it, okay? through again I didn't mean to do that I was trying to hold it steady because it'll it'll crack your wood if you push so I'm trying not to push let's do another one right. so of course we had to find the center and then we made it equal distances apart Go on and uh, test it inside of the coop and see if it fits. Cornell, go on the inside of the coop and get the bean. Alright, I think you gotta flip it around, don't you? You need on some gloves? Oh. Yeah, yeah, you know how to play Minecraft. That is a beautiful cut. Beautiful. There you go. Okay, we got all the thing we got to do though is go, us hammer it up because that chicken wire is stopping it from going up. All right, so now we're going to screw it in. All right. All right, so let's get the screws. Make sure you're not missing the beam. Go ahead. Alright, 
right, back it up. Do the other one quickly. garden is a mess don't look at it Push. Keep it straight. Push forward. Get it straight. There you go. There you go. Um, it's, that's probably one of the reasons why I wasn't doing right. It wasn't tight enough. You didn't have it in there tight. Okay. It's crooked, baby. Your hand is crooked. You can't get it in there right. Your hand is at an angle. Hello. Oh, okay. Well, you have to kind of put it when you can't get in tight spots like that, kind of turn at an angle a little bit and then straighten it up as you go in. Oh, that's an ant right there. Push forward. Mm. Good, bro. Oh, it's not tight. For some reason. Good job, boys. It's in there now. All right, so that beam is in. Well, let's go ahead and frame up the coop now. section down below and tell me what you think we should name the coop. Is it a chicken chalet? <laughs> what is it? Let me know in the comment section down below. Help me name the coop. Drip, drip, 
drip. Drip, drip, drip. I'm starting to like this color. It's really coming together. And it gets a little darker if you put a little bit more. I know they're saying one, one coat, but you gotta kinda go back and forth with the strokes. So it actually gives it a little more than one coat, you know? But when it dries, it's getting darker when it dries, so it's looking nice. I'm liking it a lot. <laughs> 